Today's topic is tinnitus, ringing in the ears, and what to do about it. Tinnitus is not a disease, but a symptom of a possible underlying medical condition. It occurs when there is something wrong with the auditory nerve in the ear that processes sound. What is tinnitus? Tinnitus is a condition in which a person hears ringing sound or noise that no one else can hear. This ringing, roaring, or whistling sound is not caused by any external source, but an underlying cause. The sound can be both mild that you can easily ignore it, or so loud that it shuns the external sound, making people hallucinate, or psychologically ill. It can also be continuous or intermittent. Tinnitus is not uncommon and affects about 15% of people, especially people of old age. What are the causes of tinnitus? Nobody knows the exact cause of tinnitus, and it is mostly thought to be as a symptom of some underlying pathology. It can be abnormal brain activity that might be leading to these sounds, but how or why to this process have not been understood yet. However, some of the possible leading causes are being mentioned here. Noise induced hearing loss. For people who work around noisy environment, this is very common. Even a single continuous exposure to a sudden loud noise or sound can lead to tinnitus. Age-induced hearing loss causes the cochlea and other parts of the ear to deteriorate. Blockage of the ear due to the accumulation of wax or dirt. An ear infection or injury. Meniere's disease affects the inner ear. Temporomandibular joint syndrome. Injury to head and neck region. Otosclerosis leads the small bones in the middle ear to stiffen. Allergies that lead to congestion that increases the pressure in the eustachian tube and can block the sound entering the ear. A benign tumor of the auditory nerve. Certain medications like antibiotics, anti-inflammatory, antidepressants, loop diuretics, and quinine medications, etc. Some other medical conditions involve high blood pressure, circulatory system conditions, anemia, autoimmune disease, diabetes, or cardiovascular disease, etc. Is tinnitus associated with hearing loss? Many people associate tinnitus with hearing loss, but it is a pure myth. Neither tinnitus causes hearing loss, nor does hearing loss lead to tinnitus. As a matter of fact, people having tinnitus experience no difficulty in hearing. What are some of the symptoms of tinnitus? The sound in the ear can be of varied nature. It can be hissing, ringing, clicking, buzzing, roaring, humming, whistling, chirping. The sound, however, may have high or low pitch. The sound can be heard in one or both of the ears. The sound can be so loud that it hinders the ability of the person to concentrate. In some cases, it can be a whooshing or pulsing sound that resonates with one's heartbeat. This kind of tinnitus is called pulsatile tinnitus. How is tinnitus diagnosed? First, your doctor will do a physical examination in which he will check for signs in your ear. Then he will ask you if you've had any medical history of such episode or medicines you are taking, if any, your occupation or family history of any such medical condition. If your doctor doesn't find any obvious cause for your tinnitus, he will run down some tests like audiometry. This test is performed to check one's ability to hear a certain range of tones and display the results in an audiogram. Tympanometry. The doctor will check one's eardrum with a device named a tympanometer and display the results in a tympanogram. MRI. How is tinnitus treated? There is not a complete cure for tinnitus yet, but there are some treatments that might help people with coping up better with a medical condition. It is mostly a combination of treatments that depends on the severity of one's tinnitus, like hearing aids. A hearing aid controls the external sound levels to make it easy for you to process the sound. If one hears the outside sound better, it is easier to ignore the inner ringing of tinnitus. Wearable sound generators. Little electronic devices to fit in the ear that generate pleasant and soothing sound or music to mask the annoying noise of tinnitus. Tabletop sound generators. One can program the generator to play soothing and relaxing sounds and put it at the bedside table. It helps in easily falling asleep in case of mild tinnitus. Acoustic neural stimulation. It is a relatively new technique for people with serious tinnitus. It utilizes a palm-sized gadget in earphones to convey a broadband acoustic sign implanted in music. The treatment animates change in the neural circuits in the brain, 
which at last desensitizes the person to tinnitus. A cochlear implant bypasses the effective part of the inner ear and conveys electrical messages that straightforwardly invigorate the auditory nerve. The gadget acquires outside sounds that assist with concealing tinnitus and animate change in the brain circuits. Antidepressant drugs, counseling, other medication for better life quality. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.